last video, we proved that three medians in a triangle intersect at one point that is called a centroid. In geometry class, we also learned that centroid divides the median into 2 over 1. Today, we are going to use two different methods to show a proof. And the first method that we are going to use is called area method. Here in triangle ABC, we have three medians, and point F is the centroid. In the last video, we proved that these four triangles have the same area. And these two triangles at the bottom also have the same area. If you remember, at the end of the last video, I left a question, that is, what's the relationship between S1 and S3? The answer is pretty simple, actually, they are equal. But how do we prove that? If you still remember the butterfly theorem in the trapezoid, that is, in the trapezoid, the two triangles that are formed by the two legs and the two diagonals have the same area. So here the two triangles are these two. They are formed by the two legs and the two diagonals. Then they have the same area. It's called a butterfly theorem because the two triangles look like the two wings of a butterfly like this. In the last video, we showed a simple proof for this theorem. So you can refer to the last video. Then in this triangle ABC, in order to prove S1 is equal to S3, you can draw DG. Since D and G are two midpoints of side AB and BC, therefore DG is one of the mid segments of the triangle. So DG is a parallel to AC, and therefore ADGC is a trapezoid. S1 and S3 are the two wings of the butterfly. But now the butterfly is facing this way. It looks like this. S1 and S3 look like the two wings of the butterfly. And therefore S1 is equal to S3. So. In this triangle ABC, with all the three medians, we have six small triangles, and all of these six triangles have the same area. Let's use S1 for the notation. And some students might be wondering, okay, then you proved S1 is equal to S3. Why this is helpful in proving that the centroid divides the median into 2 over 1? So the first method is called area method. So we are going to use the area to prove this conclusion. Okay. Now you can consider triangle ADF and uh, triangle AFC. As you may notice, these two triangles, they share a common altitude from point A toward the side DFC and we can assume the length of the altitude is lowercase h. And therefore, the area ratio of the blue triangle to the orange triangle is s1 over 2s1. It's just the 1 over 2. And s1 is equal to 1 half base times height, so 1 half times fd times height h. And the area of the orange triangle which is a 2s1, that is 1 half times base, fc, and then time the altitude, which is also h. And therefore, 1 half, 1 half cancelled, h, h cancelled. So 1 half is equal to fd over fc. And as you can see, fd and fc are the two parts of the median cd. So we proved that the centroid divides the median CD into 1 over 2. And some students are wondering, all right, this is only for one median, then how about for the other two medians? Actually, we can use the same way to show this proof for the other two medians. But here, by saying the same way, I mean, we still use the area method, but now we need to consider different triangles. We need to consider the area of different triangles to show the proof. Now, for example, if you want to prove, say, Fe over Bf is equal to 1 over 2, for example, we want to prove this one, 
then which two triangles should we consider? Okay, now you need to consider triangle ABF and uh, triangle AFE. These two triangles, they share a common altitude from point A toward BFE. And therefore, you know, the area ratio, let's say the blue triangle S1 over the orange triangle 2S1 is equal to 1 over 2. And that is equal to also 1 half base times height. Now, as we can expect from this expression here, 1 half, 1 half will be canceled. And the same altitude is canceled from the top and the bottom. And therefore, only the bases are left. Then who are the bases here? So for S1, this is the area for the blue triangle. Its base should be EF. And for the orange triangle, the base should be BF. And in this way, we proved EF over BF is equal to 1 over 2. Then for the third meeting, it's the same way. Right, this is called area method. Behind the area method, there is not a big theory. And the thing is, we just used the area in the proof. The second way that we are going to use is called similar triangles. Again, here we have a three medians, but we only need to pick one median to do the proof. For example, we can try to prove EF over BF is equal to 1 over 2. But the thing is, in this diagram, we don't have any two triangles that are similar to each other. In this case, we can try to make similar triangles by drawing auxiliary lines. We can pass through point E to draw EM parallel to BGC. And in this way, we have these two angles are congruent and these two angles are congruent. Because if lines are parallel, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. So we have these two triangles are similar to each other. That is triangle MEF similar to triangle G B F by A A similarity. We know in the similar triangles, the corresponding sides are proportional. Here, the proportional means that the corresponding sides have the same ratio. And uh, this is our target. E F over B F is equal to one over two. And whereas E F and B F, E F and B F are two corresponding sides in the two similar triangles. So you know E F over BF is equal to the ratio of another pair of corresponding sides, which could be EM over BG. Also, we know point G is the midpoint of the side BC. Therefore, BG is equal to GC. So here, EM over BG is just equal to EM over CG. Again, the BG is equal to CG. Because EM is a parallel to BGC, then we know these two triangles AME and AGC are also similar triangles. And here EM and CG are two corresponding sides of these two similar triangles. And that is equal to AE over AC. Again, this is according to the property in the similar triangles that is corresponding sides are proportional because point E is the midpoint for the side AC. So AE over AC is just equal to 1 over 2. So EF over BF is equal to 1 over 2 after all of these transitions. Okay, this is a proof in similar triangles. At the end of this video, I want to ask a question. If we want to prove FD over FC is equal to 1 over 2. Now, these two segments are the two parts on meeting DFC. Then if we want to prove FD over FC is equal to 1 over 2, then how should we draw the auxiliary line? If you have any idea, you can put it in the comments. And in the next video, we are going to show three examples of how we can apply this property into problem solving. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.